YOLO! Check out Balin's awesome design that inspired me to design my own laser cut. I knew I wanted a shape of a circle, so I traced my circle and then put the pen away. The rest of this project will be sketched out in pencil first before I pick that pen back up again. I used the ruler to help space out my letters, and then I used the shape of the circle for the outline to give me all the curved lines. Once I was happy, I erased all my extra pencil marks to make it look extra clean and crisp. Then I started sketching in the tree and the other details for my design. This sketch took over an hour. Kinda happy with it. Have a drink of coffee, and now it's time to start using the marker to trace all of my pencil lines in a black marker so it looks really sharp for the laser cut. Boom, finished and those lines are looking crispy. But now I gotta erase all my extra pencil marks. We want this to look really clean. Once that's done, I'm gonna start working on the front. So again, I'm tracing with the circle but this time I'm using a pencil, not the marker, and then I'm gonna sketch in some leaves where I think they want to go. You'll notice I stacked my papers so I can kind of see through to make sure it looks good. Then I repeat the process, marker and erase. Here's the final product. Because I wanna do a double-sided laser cut, I need to take this to the copier and make a copy of it, but in mirror mode because I want this to be backwards when I laser cut it. Next, we take the mirror image and we scan it in the Glowforge. The camera on the lid of the Glowforge is what takes the picture of your design. Then it's uploaded to the internet and we use the laptop to select and edit the parts of your design you want cut versus engraved. Now it's time to get the material that we will cut and engrave. I've been saving some of our more exciting materials for awesome designs. For example, this acrylic that's colorful or this really thick acrylic for double-sided designs. Then the Glowforge does its laser cutter magic. I realized I made a mistake and I had a leaf covering my owl. Since I didn't want that to happen, I used my whiteout to get rid of that leaf. Then I laser cut the front. This part was exciting. I peeled off just the parts I wanted to paint. For example, here I painted the leaves. And then I added some of the detail for the bark. And finally, I had a friend come and visit who was checking out all the work that was going on in the lab. Once that first layer of paint had dried, I then did a coat of spray paint to help seal it in and add some more color and texture to the overall project. Finally, it's time to peel away the masking and reveal the artwork underneath. You have to be careful when you peel up the corner of the masking to not scratch the paint. And I love how these double-sided pieces of art can be enjoyed from both perspectives. 